hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching the final part of the video c hash containers so here we are looking at the panel in this sub series so now we are at the last part in this part we will see how to enable scroll bar support for our panel so here is the panel and we can add scroll bar support so there will be scroll bar that get uh, displayed towards the right as well as here in the bottom so now let's uh, quickly go through what are all the slides which got participated in the previous uh, six uh, uh, videos in this uh, sub series First, uh, we learned about the C hash uh, panel concepts in part 1. Then, in uh, part 2, we moved into the example and we talked about uh, different uh, moving parts uh, in this uh, example. Then, we moved to part 3, and in part 3, we enabled uh, docking support for our uh, panel. Then, in uh, part 4, we learned how to add control dynamically. To the panel so in this part 4 we learned adding the control dynamically as well as removing the control dynamically all right then in the previous video that means in uh, part uh, 6 we learned auto size and uh, auto size modes all right now we are in the final part so here if you see this is the auto scroll once you enable this auto scroll support will be enabled for our uh, once you place a check mark auto scroll support will be enabled for our uh, panel so once you place a check mark here we are checking whether that uh, particular check mark is uh, checked so if it is in checked state then we will use the auto scroll property and we will set it true for our uh, panel so this will provide uh, scrolling support so before doing this we have to make sure that auto size for the panel is uh, disabled because when auto size is enabled the panel will automatically grow in size so that means a scroll bar will not be provided because there is no need for a scroll bar as the panel is auto resizing so when auto size is disabled the time uh, making this auto scroll to true makes sense so when control goes beyond a certain limit scroll bar will be provided so to decide that certain limit we will make use of the auto scroll margin property and this auto scroll margin property requires a dimension and the dimension here we are creating using width and height so this is what we collect here first from the text with the dot text we are parsing it and storing that as an integer thus it will give the width then we will ask the height and height will be retrieved from this text box then we create the dimension and the dimension that means that dimension is nothing but a size object we are size will contain width and height so we are assigning that size to the auto scroll margin so what happens let's say this is our uh, panel and here we can actually set here margin using the size structure 
so width here it is 30 pixel and height also 30 pixel so when you start adding the component and when the component goes beyond this margin even though the panel visible area is here let's say the component is coming here so it's still within the panel but it goes beyond this margin so what happens a scroll bar will be provided vertically so we will get a scroll bar here to see that newly added component so using this you can view this uh, newly added label in our example it can be any component a text box a label checkbox whatever it is so if there are more number of controls so the scroll bar will be provided and you can scroll the content to view all these uh, content so that's all here in this ATI part. Now we will go to demo. So here is our uh, panel control example. In the last video, we implemented the auto size property. Now we will go ahead and implement the scroll bar capability. So first I am uh, clicking here choosing properties then under the event i am double clicking check the changed so here in the check the changed we will implement scrolling support so we already explained the code in the powerpoint slide and if you see this is the code so first we enable the auto scroll property after enabling that uh, auto scroll is the property that we enable for our panel after that we will uh, uh, provide a scroll bar margin so that scroll bar margin is decided by width and height now let me run this so here by default the allow auto size panel is unchecked that means it is eligible for scrolling now i am adding the scrolling support so here if you see the since we provided the width as a 30 you are automatically getting a scroll bar for horizontal so let me reduce this width to 10 pixel and rene re-enable this auto scroll now we are still getting and that means we have to reduce it further and if you see scroll bar for horizontal is not enabled so height we provided 30 that means 30 pixels somewhere here and let's start adding the label and you can see scroll bar is provided let me add five more label And you can see all the label get added here since we already have the remove functionality let us start removing it you can see the scroll bar is reducing in size after certain stage the scroll bar goes away yeah so if i increase this scroll margin so we have provided 30 right let me put a somewhat uh, higher value 50 and let me re-enable the scroll and if you see we got a scroll bar since the scroll margin is 50. let's keep it as 5 that's all here in this uh, video so that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye so if you want to have the code snippet for all these seven part it is available in the video description